Okay, so yesterday on my community tab, I was just kind of like, yo, does anyone want to see how I do eyes with like a little tutorial? And I got some people that were just kind of like, yeah. I'll, I also asked the same thing on Twitter and people were just kind of like, yeah. So I'm just going to show how I make eyes do the thing. So I've already taken some liberties of drawing a nice little friend. I love him. <laughs> He's so good. Look at him. Oh, uh, this is going to be cursed whenever it's done. Right. So pretty much uh, what I do, I mean, it really depends on the character, if the character is more cartoony or if it's more like spooky or whatever. It, that all kind of just depends on how the eye will look. But for the most part, most of my eyes, they just kind of do like, they have a shape and yeah, shapes are fun and pupil or iris technically been a little pupil that that's mortifying <laughs> this guy he's not gonna I don't think he's gonna have a nose he's just gonna have two eyes and a big dumb mouth fantastic okay so basically um, normally in this section I'm gonna draw a nice little arrow there so you know what I'm talking about Pretty much whenever I start doing commissions or headshots or whatever, I kind of just work in layers. Uh, I should probably pull up a commission to show what I have, but I think I've already merged all the layers to them. Okay, uh, for a quick basis thing, I'm just going to open a new layer. Say if I got a sketch and the face is this, right? So I'll do a new layer and... Um, nose that'll be that layer and then for this layer it'll be like bridge of the nose and then say for this layer which will be another new layer and it'll be under these two layers it'll be like brows brows then under that be like a forehead or upper jaw more upper jaw do that and then finally under that is lower jaw that's cursed and then after all of those layers are complete and after you have the sketch layer that's when well, you can pretty much do the eyes will be pupil pupil did it did it there so just pretend that I've already done all those steps this isn't a that step tutorial this is an eyeball tutorial <laughs> okay so basically um, since we have a sketch out here I'm just going to erase all of this because we don't need it necessarily. We're just gonna and we're just gonna delete this layer. Okay. Oh shit, that, I did not erase that. I just used the brush. I'm smart. All right. We're gonna actually erase this now and not use the brush thinking that it's the eraser. glorious. This works. This will work charms. Right, so all of this is like all the white and the actual character, that's gonna be on top of the eyes. This is important. Just stay with me. Mostly because whenever you make a new layer and you start with your brush and do this, it'll be behind this, but it fills in the eyeball and that's necessary. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do, I start off with basically um, three layers. The, we have layer seven, layer six, layer five. I'm hoping you can see this. I'm looking back at OBS. Yes, you can see it, unless you, you don't have the best vision. In that case, I am very sorry, right? going to take a swig of tea. So what I'll do, since layer 7 on top, that'll be the pupil, whatever the pupil is. We're going to go on layer 6 and we're just going to start on a basic iris. 
This boy. Should he have light blue eyes? You know what? He's gonna have um, one blue eye and one green. Yeah, he, he's gonna be one of those. Those are our... These are the iris, irises, the iris. And now it's time to do sclera. So that, what I usually do is make it a slightly lighter color than the uh, iris. I'm going to be losing my train of thought a lot because it, most of the time whenever I'm doing commissions or doing any type of art, I'm borderline brain dead. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, maybe I should have thought about this before asking, Hey, should I do a tutorial? Because I'm fucking... I have a brain cell, I swear. Okay, and basically what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna rename these layers. This one will be named Iris, so I can keep track of it. This one will be named Sclera, so I can keep track of it. And layer 7 will be renamed to Pupil, so I can also keep track of that one. And the pupils, they're just going to be a darker version of the irises. Depending on the character, this will change, but I'm not kidding. This is a tutorial, not a, not a fucking masterpiece. I'm not making a masterpiece. <laughs> Though with how this boy looks, this good boy- Oh shit, that's not their lure. <laughs> but with how this tutorial looks, he will be the goodest boy. Okay. Pretty much the first thing that I usually do is I preserve opacity. I click this where there's a little check mark. This is so it doesn't go crazy and it just stays on that layer and it does what it's supposed to do. And pretty much I will go up here. Um, I'll just choose a darker color or something. And I usually use the airbrush. I, I should probably tell my brush settings. Um, it really depends. I don't use the same brush. Actually, I don't use the fucking same brush settings, like, ever. I know a lot of people, they have a set brush for how they do stuff. I don't, because I don't know how things work. Shit. Right, so anyways, we do a little shadow on that one, and we're gonna do a shadow on this one too. Just make sure the density on it is pretty low, that way the top can be much darker than the rest of it. Okay, next, after you have that portion done, I'm gonna blur it. I usually have this little edge shape where it's, uh, it looks like a standard deviation curve or something. And I usually have these textures, I don't know why, just ignore that, I'm not using them yet. And I have them set to zero, <laughs> because I'm not using them. And I just sort of blur around the edges. Glorious. Next thing I want to do is I want to, I, I usually do a, I'm just tapping on my screen as if you guys can see my fingers, fuck. I do pretty much a little shadow under the iris. Okay, I'll just take my airbrush again. But this time I'm going to set it on multiply. When you multiply it, that's a bit different from using normal. It pretty much makes the brush kind of like the multiply layer. But let, let's take, uh, let's go to layer five. I'll show what I mean by that. See, if you do it normally, get nice blue. It's a good blue color. And when you do it on multiply, this is, look at that. Look at that saturation. Look at how much darker that is. That's, that's how I will explain multiply. <laughs> and basically, um, using the little multiply brush, or brush setting, do like a little tiny shadow under each of these. And I try to keep it in the same color as the, uh, as the rest of it. See, this one's blue and this one's green. I'm kind of, I have like two brain cells whenever it comes to coloring, so if you understand coloring, you will be able to do this way better than me. <laughs> okay, and then once you have these little shadows done, you just sort of blur them out a bit. And it works. Y you have something. Y you got something there. It's 
below that. It, it kind of just gives it a nice little soft glow thing. All right. Next, we're going to the iris, that layer. And we're going to preserve the opacity on that one also. And usually I'll take the color, I'll color pick the pupil, whatever the pupil is. Normally, again, it's just a slightly darker version. I'm going to darken that later. And I go to the brush. I make sure the density is low. These are my brush settings. I have grunge and glass for some, this changes. This does not ever stay the same. I, I constantly change my settings. I, again, I don't have a set brush for anything because I don't know how you do that. And, but with the brush, um, again, you can use pretty much any density. I'm just going to go wild. From the pupil, I just make little strokes. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, da, da, da. lots of little tiny strokes. So it has like this thing. And I do that however many times until I don't want to do it. And I do the same thing for this one. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they're just sort of like quick tappy strokes. You probably end up hearing me tapping, tip tapping away on my tablet. Uh, maybe it's important to mention that I use Hueon. It's like a Hueon canvas. It does have a screen except the HDMI port on my laptop is kind of fucky and I can't take it anywhere to get it checked. So for, basically there's no screen on it at the moment because the HDMI on my laptop doesn't work. But if I put it into any other computer, the HDMI on the screen does work, which is cool. <laughs> Screens are very nice whenever you're doing digital art, but I have been without a screen since Pandemic Kit. That's horrifying. Oh yeah, this is still on Multiplier. I, I went back. Let me undo. Okay, after that's done, I go back to the airbrush. It's still on multiply. It's the same color as whatever or close to the same color. It doesn't have to be exact. You know, th whatever. And I'll do a shadow under the pupil and around the edges. I'll just zoom in here. It's, again, still on multiply. And I'll kind of sort of do an outline. We'll do that a few times. Sort of just darken edges. It, it, it's doing a thing. Wow. It's looking kind of like an eye. Kind of. And I'll just do the same thing to this one. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look like something. And once I have this portion done, I'll get the basic color of the eye again. I'll use a brush tool, but this time I will decrease the size from what it was before. The density will stay about the same. And I'll kind of just do the same thing. I can lighten it a bit. Yeah, that'll be fine. And I don't necessarily always start from the pupil. I can start out somewhere over here. Close to the pupil, but not the pupil. And I just do a bunch of little tiny strips. It, it feels like I'm drawing a flower. Maybe that's the best way to, to uh, describe my process. When, when you do eyes, just make them a flower. <laughs> I swear that makes sense in my brain. Actually, I'm gonna move, move this pupil, it looks weird. I'm gonna transform this and make it a bit bigger. That, that will, that'll do. That'll do. And again, I just kind of keep doing this with the brush. I decrease size, I change the color a bit. Not, not too much, just, I try to keep it in the same Okay, you see the color wheel? I try to keep it in this environment. Sometimes I'll change, like, go down here, go up here, maybe a bit of green, whatever. I can do that later on. I'm not going to do it now, because oh, fuck. And I'll go ahead, go to the airbrush again, do the multiply layer, color a bit under the pupil, do a little thing. Good. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the green. Usually I just do one pupil at a time, but whatever. It's, it, it's fine. Do that again. Do that. Lots of little tiny lines. And the thing is, with your finished piece, um, the eyes, they'll look alright. But they're also going to be pretty small too, so no one's going to pay that much attention to them. With me, it's just like, okay, if it looks good from a distance, cool. Unless it has to be poster size and I have to get all these little details in, because everyone's going to be able to see all this. If that's the case, this will be way more detailed, but for my sake right now, no. And what we'll do once all these lines are there, we'll just blur it a bit. My blur thing, I set with this little standard deviation curve shape with a sort of halfway density, not completely halfway. And there, I'll do that. Same thing for this one. I know the pupils look weird, just stay with me. And this glare is going to be a bit darkened and everything too. Again, just stay with me. For the iris layer, I go to layer up at the top with file, edit, canvas, layer, and I copy that. So it gives me iris too. And I go to filter, I go to hue and saturation, and I decrease the luminescence a bit, and I increase the saturation. This sort of depends. For this piece, I'm just going to increase it. Sometimes I decrease it. In this case, I'm increasing it. And I unlock the layer, so you basically I click on preserve opacity again. Because what'll happen, and I'm not changing the density on this eraser just yet, basically if you don't unclick preserve opacity, you're gonna get this and you're gonna be like, what the hell is even that? No. So I'm just gonna control Z press preserve opacity, and decrease the density of the eraser. See, it makes a little slight... It, basically, we're doing shadows. This is a very quick way to do shadows. I'm gonna do that. That way, the shadow's up here, just sort of casting down. And we'll change the size of the eraser. I usually do the, uh, the hard rectangle head shape. And we'll kind of do the same thing we were doing before with the flower shape. Not entirely, but yeah, for the most part, yeah. This, this will do. Don't lag on me, Siam. I'm, I'm trying to be informative. <laughs> okay. And once that's done, we will merge the two layers, and you can do this by pressing Control and E at the same time. Boom. Ah, oh, that's spooky. <laughs> Putting those back. Next is the pupil. I'm gonna color pick this. Basically, you're gonna want a much darker version. I'm not locking the layer yet. You go to the brush, you have the little hard edge thing, and the density, yeah, it could be low. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, did my tablet pen die? No, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. I thought my tablet pen died for a second. And. Because it's a low density, you can have sort of that blur, so it's not like hard edge like this. Sort of really soft, soft eyes. You can just sort of poke them and then it's like, ow. But it, it, it does it. It does its duty. And do that one for that one. And for the green, same thing, just a much darker color. Sort of just do a little circle shape around the edges. Do that. And next we're gonna blur. Blurry is nice. Well, the shape's not completely circular. So what I'll do here is I'll either build up or I'll erase a bit, but I won't erase much. And I'll also choose one of these shapes. So it's not completely hard or anything for the pupil. <laughs> and 
and pretty much I'm just erasing around the edges. Right. Next, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing that I did for the irises. So we'll copy this. So you have pupil two. Go to filter. Go to hue and saturation. Decrease the luminescence. Increase the saturation. Doesn't really matter how much you do it. Just do it. To, just do it however much you want to do it. Pretty much. I'm gonna make the density a bit bigger. I'm gonna change that. I don't want to do the hard edge, but I'll go with any of these. So see, now it's like a weird circle thingy. Okay, that, that works. Kind of make sure the shadows are going in the same direction to see like, uh, just draw a little line. See, they're just kind of like that and that. Because it, it would look kind of weird if it's like the shadows, they start going reversed. Because what some people will do, they'll take an eye and they'll flip it, but they won't change any of the shading or the shadows or anything like that. It's, it's kind of sometimes whenever you see an animation of a character and they have something like this where they're not symmetrical, but when they're flipped, the, the markings flip and it's like, wait, no, that's not how that works. No, <laughs> wait, what, what are you doing? And it's like, it, it kind of, you want to avoid that if you can. And with this, we're going to make this more circular using the brush tool, making it dark. Just color pick from that, the, uh, the dark shadow thing. This is just to make it a circle-y shape. Oh, uh, something that's gross. Um, if you, this has been done like during cleaning skulls and things like that. If you poke the eye or if you accidentally puncture it, I try not to because it's gross, but you get it in the uh, the actual pupil, it leaks and it's like, ah, uh, it's, it's fluidy. You. That's a, that's a gross fact of the day. <laughs> right, and we're gonna just continue to do this thing. Here we go. Bingo. <laughs> Uh, this tutorial is just going to be me rambling about things. Oh well. Great. So we have that down. And we're going to merge this to this layer. Basically the pupil, the iris. This is all one layer now. Let's see, is this something that I want to do? Yes it is. Basically take a little lighter one and we're gonna do the little flower shape again. See, it's just strokes like that. I'll just add these wherever the hell. It's, it's your eye. You do what you want to with it. No one's gonna give you grief. It's a, it's a fucking eye. It's a fucking eye, boy. Did I just lag on me? Oh no, I didn't. I'm am ju just dumb. Okay, just a few more of these. A little more of these. I'm gonna decrease the density a bit. That way, I can keep doing it, and it's not a big ass change. And I'm gonna go back down, and I'm gonna blur this a bit. And I'm gonna try to make this more circular again using the brush tool and a dark brush. Sometimes you can use a blending brush to do this, but blending brushes give me grief. And I'm very... I don't have galaxy brain with that. So we'll just do this. It'll be okay. Alright. Now it's time to do sort of reflecty reflections in the eye. Since this is blue, I usually go with like a yellow, because yellow is a good contrast for blue. This is, see this is that color theory shit, where if you want to impress someone, you can say, ah, well this blue over here, a good contrast color, is this red over here, and this pink, 
a good contrast color is the uh, the one on the opposite end because shadows and lighting. The thing is that that is technically true, but I don't know big I don't know words and my vocabulary is not great. Or it's not great whenever it comes to art. It's just a you do the thing and it works. That's my whole thing. So for this, I'm just gonna use a nice little yellow with a very low density brush tool again and that'll be a little reflecty reflectorino thing right there and the green i'll do like a little pink pink's good and whenever you're doing shading or lighting stuff like that on these make sure that it's kind of stays in relatively the same area I'm gonna blur out this edge right here. I'm gonna blur that more because I want to. This works. Yeah, that'll be fine. And since this is still pink, do that. This little thing with the edge and a little this just tip tapping away. And do the same thing to this one, but in yellow. Okay, we got some shady shader shades. We have that. And the next thing, I'm gonna go to select and I'm gonna make the density low and I'm gonna do the size like there because whatever. And I'm gonna use this brush because it sort of blends. And I'm just gonna do a little line over here and a little line here and one right here just because basically um, whenever you do that it selects a source you can do the little selection tool I should have selected yeah yeah and gonna go to filter did that not do what I wanted it to oh yeah yeah it did it did it just I had the density very low so you can't see anything so whenever you decrease pretty much whatever you selected um, you can change saturation, you can change luminescence, hues, whatever. I'm gonna change the hue a bit. I can make the saturation all the way up because I can. No one's... I don't see anyone stopping me. Just... there we go. No, wait. Yeah. What's up? Like, you can't really tell, but whatever. That That's fine. It's fine. It works. It's good. And for this portion, we're going to preserve opacity again, basically so you can draw wherever. Where did that go? What the hell? Oh, it's still in the selected source. I'm dumb. Make sure it's not still in the selected source. So you can do this. Wee. I'm going to undo that. And you're gonna do is slightly bro bleh, slightly blur the edges not much just a little bit because if you do it too much then it looks like that and then you're just gonna be like what the fuck so again just slightly blur them not too much just a little bit so we just just show it blends blending is cool there we go what's the street yeah, I don't want to use streak. Sometimes I use streak, which is just the grass tool and the cloud tool, and I do that. But that's normally for like finishing touches on fur. This isn't a fur tutorial. This is other tutorial. And for this, the irises, for now, they're they're not finished. But as of for now, this one's kind of a fucked up shape. <laughs> what happened here? I forgot how to draw. Just, yeah, that'll work. That's, that's fine. We're gonna go back to the sclera. And what we're gonna do, copy the layer here. So you get sclera 2. Filter. You change the luminescence, make that go down. Saturation goes up. So just make that a bit darker. And we're just gonna erase. Just stay with me. Wait, we're gonna unlock this layer so it's not white.
what you will find that I do in a lot of my arts is I constantly press Control Z because it didn't do what I wanted. I make sure that the bottom is very white and the top stays fairly dark. Okay. Cool. And then we're going to make sure the multiply layer is on. We're just going to do. I'm going to make sure that it's this. That way it's a lot smoother and not as much of a hard edge. We're going to do this again to the bottom of this one. I promise this will make sense. All right. Just a bit more. There we go. Cool. And we're also going to blur this a bit. I don't really like the glow. I wish it wasn't as blue now that I think about it. Oh wait, no wonder I can't change it. The layers aren't there. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna correct this. Cause I wish it wasn't as blue. Sometimes it's fine, but right here it's just like, mm, no. So I'm just gonna select it, do that, filter. We're gonna desaturate it a bit. And then we're gonna blur it again. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And one thing to do with a brush, it doesn't have to be red or anything, it could just be whatever color. I'm gonna do some veins. Veins are weird. Again, make sure the density for this is pretty low. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but low density for it. It's there, no one can really see it, but it's... Why not? No one's, no one's gonna do anything about it. Okay. That'll, that'll be fine. And we are going to merge these layers, so everything's on one layer now. And what we're gonna do... It's gonna make a nice little highlight over here. So I'm going back to the, my brush. The density is still pretty low. I'm just gonna do a few strokes here and there. Not too many. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. This is make it make an eye look wet. Because eyes are wet. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's, that's how it is. Okay. The overall shape is of right down in this area for the blue eyes. Weird, but who cares? We're going to copy this layer again. Go back to hue and saturation. And make the luminescence go down. We're going to slight... Actually, no, we're not going to increase saturation. We're going to decrease it slightly make it more dark. And then we're going to go to preserve opacity, turn that off, the fuck off, and erase a bit just to have a little shadow, like a little extra one. Contrast is cool. Right, so once you get this far and you, you have some eyes there, um, new layer. Do that. We're going to change the mode to luminosity. Luminosity is fucking great, right? Um, and one of my friend's servers. <laughs> I th what's, what the fuck's my nickname there? It, like it's flop, but the L's just fluminos. It's like fluminosity or something because I just used luminosity. See, if it's a normal mode and you use uh, normal, let's just do the density to 50, you get that, but you go to mode and you change that to luminosity, holy shit, look at that, it, lighting, wow, wow, <laughs> they're just gonna do this luminosity, we're gonna make sure that the hard edges are on for this one, so make sure that's there, definitely. And I don't want it at 50. I'm gonna do it at like 100. 100 will be fine. We'll do that. 
then make sure the green one is green and we'll do that and here we'll do a little heart basically you see how this is like circular we want this more rectangular there we go that'll be fine and you don't want it to be too hard at the bottom so we're just going to erase a bit of that so it's a bit softer there we go this is your reflection and what you can do here which is neat just erase a bit i'm gonna change the density where where is this guy gonna be i don't know but we're just gonna do <laughs> little strokes these are these are trees i swear and whenever you do this make sure you don't just copy these ever or if you do don't don't flip them because if you do that then those trees will be there and it's like that that doesn't make sense make, make sure that the stuff in the reflection is about the same it doesn't have to be perfect but it's gonna make sense i'm just gonna do a line down here just that's a that's a big boy tree well we're gonna go the bob ross route so you do a little tree and you do the little the things And you can go a bit weird with it to just use the brush. Do that. Just some little specks. I'm, I'm that person. Yeah, let's put those there. I like them. The stars are very, very fucking bright, so that they shine even brighter in their reflection. Cool. And sometimes, if you want, you can just sort of do that. Make the reflection a bit brighter at the top. It's not necessary, but oh, I like doing it. There we go. He's in a forest, I think. This background does not signify forest <laughs> at all. Let's do that. All right. Let's lower the opacity of it, and let's merge this layer. Thankfully, whenever you merge a luminosity layer, it doesn't change this. Sometimes if you use the multiply layer, overlay layer, whatever, it can change the color. It mostly does this if you're working in layer sets. Layer sets are good for if you have a bunch of pieces for one piece. So if I just wanted to do the eyes, I'll do a layer set, and in the set would be sclera, iris, pupil, shading, whatever the fuck. And yeah, and for this part, pretty much it, it, since it's near the end, I just do little dots. It's like, ah, oh, this is more reflections. Cool. And I'll do that on a new layer. I'm gonna make this bigger. So it's like, eh, there. Make this one slightly pink. There. There. I'll do a little bit of pink on this one. Just. No, not on that one. I don't know. We'll, we'll go back to yellow. Yellow works. Yellow is good with green. And white. I don't want it to be too hard. But it's looking like it's going to be. Specs. Yay. It works. <laughs> Glorious. Uh, don't want those to be as bright. The overlay layer doesn't look too bad, but it's not screen layer. Mm. I could do luminosity again. We're just gonna keep it on normal. Normal, normal is fine. And the eyes are not perfect because, eh, but this is a tutorial, so it's, it is okay. 
Let's do a bit. I'm just adding a bit extra dots. It's like a texturing sort of thing to make it look like I understand how textures work. I don't. I'll blur this a bit. Blur that one too. Ooh, something that you can do that's kind of cool. If you go to the selection thing, you can make little shapes. I'm gonna give little hearts in his eyes. Heart hearts are cute. See there? And then you press that filter. Actually, I'm gonna go to brightness and contrast. I'm gonna make this bright and I'm gonna increase the contrast. Color teeth will be fine. Yeah, your boy has some hearts in his eyes. <laughs> Just fuck it, it works. Cool. And. For this portion, normally I go back to whatever fur layer and I just kind of do some fur over it with the brush, low density, just because fur, fur exists. Fur is going to cover some of that, it's mostly so it's, it's not going to be perfect, it doesn't have to be. And I just do a bunch of weird little strokes until I sort of thing that I want. This actually isn't completely white either, it's like purple. Again, this is all on layer four, which is the actual character layer. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool beans. I'm gonna undo that. And um, my boy, he needs an award winning. I'm gonna give him some little eyebrows. And for this, I'm just gonna blur that out because it looks too hard right here. It's like a nice little blur. Blur right here too. And I'll just uh, I'll do like a little shadow or something. And I'll blur that also. I want to give him a big dumb mouth. But it needs to be better. It needs to be like. Ah, uh, how do I want to do this? I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna blur the bottom of it. What what is this beast? What are you? Yeah, I'm just gonna blur out the whole thing. He has a mouth now. And he's just like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you? Yeah, that's my eye tutorial. <laughs> I hope it made sense, kind of. If it didn't, fuck. I'm just gonna do a nice little outline. 
here on the same layer as the fur. That way the eyes are kind of def kind of defined. Do a nice little thing here. I mean, you could apply the same sort of method to realistic eyes, but I'm just doing cute, weird, cartoony eyes because it's kind of the basic eyes that I do. How long did this tutorial take? Is this 20 minutes? Is this longer than 20 minutes? Ah, oh, if it's longer than 20 minutes, I am sorry. Yeah, I think, I think that's fine. That, that works. Uh, yeah.